Alrighty, so I need one more trophy to get the platinum. But I thought it was to be challenge mode for Ratchet and Clank. But the only one I'm missing is gold weapons. Yeah. I'm still gonna play challenge mode because I want to fuck around with the rhino. Might as well. Alright, yay, we're in the game. Uh, I do have all my weapons. Oh man. <laughs> oh, the control. I, I, I don't know why the camera is inverted. Well, it says normal. Maybe I play inverted. I don't know. Kingdom Hearts was the same way too. The first one. Oh, that's right, I have Clank. So Ratchet and Clank is a weird franchise for me, because uh, I've only played this game on PS2. Now on PS3, I've beaten this, the second one, and I was half... I don't know how far I was, but on the third game, my PS3 corrupted. And I lost everything. I never played the PS3 ones, and I beat in the PS4 one. So honestly, I've only I only know this game more out of like all the games. I beat in the PS4 one twice because challenge mode. This one I remember playing a couple times, but never beat in PS3. Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreck, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you? might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas, but of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! So, I learned, uh... His voice sounded so familiar to me. And, uh, he's voiced by <gasps> Kevin Michael Richardson. He's also the voice of Tombstone and Spider-Man and Joker and the Batman. Oh, sorry about that. I knew his voice sounded f well, freaking familiar. Well, leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. You gotta turn on subtitles. I don't know why it's just not just on. Oh, this is the the gold weapon. Yeah, here we go. Hey, Platinum! Uh, I don't have to keep playing, but I'll beat it. It's so weird not having the upgrades 
Or clank. Like movement is so I missed the dash. <laughs> That's why that level with uh the electricity and the ice. Well you only play as ratchet, it's so hard. Oh, god damn it. Can't correct yourself when you fuck up a jump on that level. <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. <laughs> Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddarn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. What? Fucking rhino. Thing is so broken. <laughs> I do like games where they give you a broken ass weapon or cheat or whatever, make you powerful. Like Resident Evil, every time you beat the game, um, some bullshit they want to do. Like, uh, I think the first HD one. You have to be the invisible enemies and got what was the other mode? And you got infinite rocket for that? Then the new Resident Evil 2 gave you minigun and rocket for S plus. GTA has all those cheats too. Make you invincible. Mercenaries, torturers, assassins. So is that Infobot tell you sentient? Here, take my Infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Do you know what this means? Yeah. Captain so we Quark is do really keep the bots. Out. No, it means Captain Quark is a metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. We had a couple in this game, so like... A ship? What? Is there just like 20 of them inside Clank? Well, what the hell did he do in there? Jim and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Yeah, this music is definitely one of my favorites. The environment looks just cool too. Welcome to the Captain Quark Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck! Quark Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. I think when I was a dumb little kid, it took me a while to beat this course. I think it's this part because the moving walls, I just couldn't do it. Actually, yeah, that reminds me. The first time I played Ratchet and Clank, uh, it was a. I was in Florida at the time, and one of the neighbors wanted to play a game I had. I think it was Ty, the first one. So I gave him that game, and he gave me this game. And I played it a lot, but I never actually beaten Ratchet and Clank up PS2. I think I got stuck on the ice world. This was hard. I wonder if I remembered. But yeah, I remember this game was fun. It reminded me a lot of Sly Cooper. You know, uh, Crash. Spyro, like a weird cartoony, I guess cartoony animal, that has charm. I think 
This is my favorite world. I remember being here a lot as a kid. Oh, I really do like Metropolis a lot. Oh god, I'm so slow. So, with Ratchet and Clank, I know the big thing about it is there's so many different guns you could use. I wonder, like, do people actually use all those guns while playing? Like on the PS4 one, there's one that let you turn people into sheep. This one has it too. I don't think I ever used it besides needed to use it for like a skill point or anything like that. This one has the decoy glove too, and I never used it either. I think. Uh, is this where I gotta go? Yeah. It kind of reminds me of Pokemon. But some people, they only pick six Pokemon up and they're gonna play the entire game with it. You know, there's hundreds and hundreds. But I get it. I always do the same, I think. Any anytime a new gen comes out, I just pick six of the new gens and that's it, really. Until post game. Welcome to the Hovercon Intergalactic Hoverboard Competition. Captain Quirk's giving away a brand new platinum zoomerator to the winner of this competition. A platinum zoomerator? Perhaps that will be the proof of your accomplishments that Skid's agent requires. Wait. Do you guys mean Skid McMarks? Yeah, Skid couldn't make it, so we're here to, you know, fill in for him. Guess we'll see about that. Alright, this shouldn't be too hard. Alright, let's try it again. Oh shit, wow, they made it easier for me. <laughs> it's because I'm a bitch. Oh no, there it is. Why wasn't it there before? Maybe it's just a glitch. Oh, damn it. There's no point in me doing tricks. I don't know why I'm doing it. No, oh, my lead. Why didn't you fall when you got hit? Captain Quark here. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce this year's Hovercon Intergalactic Champions. Let's give it up for newcomers. Ratchet and Clank. Hey, look, that's us. Today's winners will take home a brand new professional grade Model T15 Platinum Zoomerator. 
Manufactured by Gadgetron, this hoverboard drive delivers more lift, speed, and maneuverability than any other anti-grab device on the market. Well, folks, that's all the time we have tonight. Remember to set your info bots to the Quark Classic channel for tonight's episode of Dogfight Over Death Canyon, starring yours truly. Thank you, and have a Quarktastic day. Skill point. What the hell? Welcome to my challenge course. Now is your chance to prove yourself strong and brave, like me. <laughs> Conquer it, and you'll join in my fight against evil. Haven't we done enough already? What? I can't hear you. I said, haven't we done? Sorry, still having trouble. Tell me later. Later? We might be dead by then. What? All right, Clank, let's <laughs> get going. Well, well, you two continue to surprise me. Step into the ring of heroes, and I will finally give you what you deserve. Ratchet, this is no time for you to become cautious. We have reached our goal. I don't know. There's something fishy going on here. Listen to your little metal friend, Ratchet. Your destiny is mere steps away. It's just something doesn't seem right. This is it. Quark is going to help us stop Cheb and Drek. Why, thank you, Clank. You've been most helpful. Get off of me, you idiot! <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together! What do you mean? What do you think he means, genius? He's not gonna help us, he's gonna kill us! You catch on quick. Although there is one problem with your hypothesis. I'm not going to kill you. You're not? No. He is. But why? But why? It's really not that difficult to decipher. I'm the official spokesman for Drek's new planet. I can't have you two getting in the way of my comeback. This isn't over, Quark. No. But it will be soon. <laughs> Oh, damn it. He has phases too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wonder what that info bot is for. Maybe it can replace you. Damn, Ratchet. Hey! You giving me these or not? They are magnetic. I appear to be stuck to them. Oh. What do you have in there? Gears, metal filings, dust. You know what I mean. What is it? I will show you this, but you must promise to stay focused on our mission. Is it something about Quark? Cities are full of smog, swamps are full of muck, and tar pits are full of tar. But here at Joe Y Resort, the sun shines 24 hours a day. Visitors get a free O2 mask to explore our warm waters. The benign marine life will welcome you to the big blue world under the sea. Uh, you can also use our complimentary flippers to partake in speed swimming. <laughs> so come to Joe Y Resort and leave your world and your troubles behind. Joy Resort, Pokitaru. I knew it. Oh, come on. Switch off your nerd circuits and have some fun. Look, we'll go just long enough to pick up the O2 mask. Perhaps the extra oxygen will help your brain to function properly. Yeah, and maybe the salt water will rust your mouth shut. <laughs> and man, they're still angry. This one's one of my favorites. Mostly just because of water. Hey, you two are the first friendly faces I've seen in weeks. You are friendly, aren't you? To you, yes. To him, no. Well, friend, 
Have I got a deal for you? Since the Blarg <laughs> began dumping their toxic sludge into our ocean, the wildlife has, uh... Become ravenous mutants? Yeah, you could say that. All my customers either left or became lunch. <laughs> so I'm closing the place down. However, I just so happen to have one, count them one, O2 mask left. How much? It's not for sale. <laughs> but you said... I said I had a deal, and indeed I do. You boys get rid of those Blarg ships, and it's yours. Just escort me to the other end of this resort, and you can use our jet fighter. <laughs> jet fighter, eh? All right. But you better not try to stiff us. I've got it. I'll have you fixed up faster than a horny toad a hopping. <laughs> well, there you are, little buddy. Better than new. That's right. I am the man. <sighs> yeah, not bad. So I'm not sure what the difference between the helicopter upgrade and this jetpack one. You would think maybe that the thruster is faster maybe? Obviously this one is in the helicopter. Well, I can't tell the difference between the two. Uh, this dang bot. Where'd you go? Again, everyone, Supreme Executive Chairman Drek here to fill you in on our progress. We have now found the perfect orbit for our planet, one which will allow for the optimum temperature all year round. However, there is a planet now occupying that orbit, and sadly, for its few insignificant inhabitants, it must be destroyed. And that's why we've created this! The Planet Buster Maximus, a device capable of blowing an entire planet into subatomic particles. We're quite proud of it. Here's how it works. We attach the Planet Buster to this ship, fly it into orbit around the planet, and let it go. Kaboom! <laughs> quite ingenious, really. Once our trained professionals put the finishing touches on our new planet, everything will be complete. Thank you. Goodbye. Now this guy's gonna blow up an entire planet? That's just... me! That's what I've been telling you. Look, I'm still gunning for Quark. If we end up taking out Drek too, hey, fine. What? You do care. Don't push it, pal. That must be the ship that will transport the bomb. You think? Great work, detective. Come on, you're almost down. Hey yeah, man, we're almost at the end of the game. I think. There's not many worlds left from what I remembered. I did not see Drek's ship. We must have missed him. Ah, who knows where Quark is now? If we're gonna catch those two, we need a faster ship. Perhaps this space station will supply the ship we need. Well, we're here. Let's go check it out. Hello, Captain Ratchet. <laughs> Come and get me, heroes. Perhaps we could obtain the ship in there. Great idea. Let's go. Oh, work. Uh, this boss sucks. Uh, <laughs> I hate this boss. Yeah, fuck off, pork. I'm just gonna save my missiles for the end. Thank God he fucks King Pass. Uh, where the fuck did you go?
Oh god, finally. Well, Ratchet, I'd say you passed the test. Screw that boss. Oh boy. Yes! Quark is history. Despite my earlier criticism, I must admit your piloting skills are improving. I knew you'd come around. But that has not helped us locate Drek. Come on, Clank. Can't you just once relax and enjoy a little success? Hey, you want to catch Drek? Bet you this baby can do it. Um. Yes, I know. It is worse than I expected, too. Look, maybe you were right. This is a lot bigger than you or me. I was really selfish focusing on Quark. It is not too late to stop Drek. Hey, yeah! We've got this new ship! Let's go get him! Now you are talking. They finally made up. Clank? Clank? Come on, wake up! Captain Quark? <laughs> no, goofball. It's me, Ratchet. What happened? You got toasted by lightning. This place is having one heck of a storm. You won't be safe out there. I'll be right back. Oh boy, here we go. No dash jump to save me. Hi there, fuzzball. Uh, man. No. One thing is optional. I don't remember where the main story is. I think it's this way. I'm looking for Drek. Sure, yeah, I got lots of stuff on sale. After the bombing, no one is around to buy anything. Are you okay? Low prices? Oh, you bet. I can make you a deal on a busted turbinator, a, a mangled carbonizer, or a, I got this info, bot. Guess that bombing was pretty loud, huh? Oh, you're one shrewd negotiator. I'll tell you what. I can let this Infobot go for half price. Well, that's about it for me. Thanks. Quit your complaining. I gave you a <laughs> great deal. Sheesh. Afraid to go out at night? Afraid to go out during the day? Just plain afraid? Then you need this. The Ultra Mech Unlimited. This mech is the ultimate in personal defense system. Blood Industries is now taking pre-orders. Get yours before it's too late. Now that's what I call serious firepower. Clank's gonna be jealous if he sees this. I think that's it. I know one area is to court, but that's for the PDA. Uptown. I don't remember what's uptown. I think that's only the gold bowl. This place looks very pretty. But man, the hoverboard race here sucks. Actually, it might not be that bad. When I was playing out normal, I forgot that you could boost. Maybe now it won't be that hard. Fourth times the charm, right? That's that's how the saying goes. Actually, I go 
up here. Hell yeah, first place. just needed to say a few words about our hot new boards. Huh? Now? Of course. Just look into that camera right over there and say what comes naturally. Rolling! Uh, hi. This is Ratchet for, uh, Gadgetron Hoverboards. And if you, um... Yo, dudes. For the freshest boards in the galaxy, check out the new XZ88 from Gadgetron. It's so hot, it's cool. I think I got the wrong guy. <laughs> that was... <laughs> something. Hey, I was thinking, do I get a discount on gadgets now? Uh, you have to be with the company for two years before the employee discount kicks in. <laughs> I can, however, let you have this. Oh, this is a pretty good cutscene. That should do it. Mom? Oh, brother. I tried, Mom. I know. Hey, look! A sister! My fellow blog. Our synthetic world is now fully functional and ready for habitation. However, there is one small obstacle in our way. This pathetic lump of a planet. Due to some blunder of fate, it happens to occupy the galaxy's most perfect orbit. But no more. Behold, the Deplanetizer! The most powerful laser ever created! Soon, we'll move the deplanetizer into place just above the planet's surface. I will, of course, be on hand to press the button that will blow this mud ball to smithereens. No one will even miss it. See you then! Ratchet? Are you all right? He is going to pay! Excuse me? It shouldn't have taken me this long to see it! Drek is going to find out what happens when you mess with my home. What are you smiling at? This is the ratchet I always knew was there. Okay, if we're gonna do this, we need to get on the Drek's ship. And then we can find out where he set up that laser. I will try to make you proud, Mom. Oh, that's so fucking sweet. <laughs> Uh, we're almost at the end of the game. There's only two planets, I think, and that's it. The station and Velden. This is it. Tonight on Blind TV, the event you have all been waiting for, the total annihilation of an entire planet! Witness the power! the destruction, and the nothingness that follows. So join Ultimate Supreme Executive Chairman Drek as he pushes the button that ends one world and begins another. Right in front of his house. Then, stay tuned for the galaxy's funniest superhero bloopers featuring Captain Quark. Now we know where he is. Let's get him. What the hell happened to the subtitles? Uh, it's probably just a 
how the PS3 version is. Final level. Back on Ratchet's home world. And the frogs are still here. Oh, that's my head. Yeah. <laughs> Imbeciles! After all the trouble you've gone through, you're about to die right where you started. <laughs> it's, it's so poetic. This is it, Clank. Let's get him. Take this ball. Fuck it. Wow. That was hmm. fast. You might have been useful to me after all. Too bad you chose the wrong side. So it has come to this. Once I step on this ignition switch, a countdown will commence. The end of which signals the destruction of your pitiful world. There must be another way to make a home for your people. You think that's what this is about? Who do you think polluted our last world? I did. This is about one thing and one thing only. Cash and lots of it. You see, I've been paid for every square inch of my new world. Once the inhabitants move in, I will begin polluting this world as well. Then the whole thing starts all over again. Ah, brilliant. Why, you, you evil little... Save it, Clank. We have to stop that timer. It's all about the money. That's the motto of this game. <laughs> so, uh, I guess it's game over if you let the countdown go to zero. It's not too bad. Come on, dude. So strong. <laughs> oh, you got hidden. Oh, I got it. thinking what you're thinking and this is the last thing you need to do in the game so that's it oh god get off all right all right we're going this way now I guess up now the servos in my arm appear to be broken broken as in fall to our deaths broken uh yes
That was close. Thanks. My arm appears to be badly damaged. Ah, you'll be all right. Hey, tin can. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? We, uh, still need to fix that arm. All that bouncing's really, really ruined the moment. <laughs> uh. Hey, game's done. Yay. Do you have a problem with unwanted hair? Is painful itching in your nether regions causing you undue embarrassment? Do you just plain stink? Then you need this! The Gadgetron Personal Hygienator! Hi, I'm Steve... McQuark. And this little baby can take care of any grooming needs that are just too much trouble for you to handle yourself. Allow me to demonstrate. Ah, yeah! <laughs> oh, mommy. Turn it off! Turn it off! Uh, all right. Well, I guess it froze. <laughs> oh boy, what a what a game. 